Hi, I'm Kathy, and welcome to my kitchen. I have two very ripe bananas. And what do you do with just two bananas? Most recipes for banana bread calls for three. But hubby had to eat one with his cereal this morning, so we're stuck with two. But I found a great recipe, and we're going to try it. So let's get baking. To make this banana bread, we're gonna start off with a loaf pan. And the recipe calls for an eight by four inch, but I have a nine inch pan here, so we're going to deal with it. Um, first you want to heat up your oven to 350 degrees, and then spray the pan with some uh, oil and then sprinkle a little bit of flour and get all the sides floured so that the bread will not stick. We'll put that over to the side. And what you want to have in one bowl is one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and two teaspoons of baking powder and one quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt, which I've already put in here. And you just want to kind of Mix all this together, all the dry ingredients, and incorporate everything together. Ahead of time, you want to get one third cup of butter in room temperature. So I went ahead and got that out of the fridge and set it aside. I have two large eggs, and I'm also going to put in some chopped walnuts. I have a quarter cup here, and some dried figs that I'm going to chop up. In another bowl you're going to have the two-thirds cup of white sugar that you're going to mix with the butter in a sec. And then here of course is the two ripe bananas. And You just want to take a fork and just mash this up. Nothing special, just mash mash. In a previous video, I showed you the unboxing of my Braun Multimix 5, and here is the chopper part. And what I'm going to do here is chop, put in the walnuts, put the top on. Nope. You have to remember to flip this and set it on there, and we're just going to chop it a little bit. I don't want to make the nuts too fine. Just chop them up a little. And I'll just set that aside. The trick to chopping up dried fruit so it doesn't get all sticky is to give a little squirt of oil in your chopping bowl and kind of around the blades. And then I'll just drop in the figs. Put the top on and let's chop up the figs. did it. Yep, you've got nice chopped up figs. A lot of people put raisins. That's another option you can put in your banana bread. But I like figs. It's a little different. On the large bowl I have the sugar and I'm going to mix the softened room temperature butter in with the sugar. Oh, 
Okay, don't do what I did. The butter wasn't quite at room temperature, it's still a little cold. <laughs> so I'm going to go zap this in the microwave for a second to melt it down a little. Let's see if that'll work. All right, now that you've mixed your butter and sugar together to get a nice creamy consistency, we are going to set aside the mixer and get some of this sugar and butter off of here and keep as much as we can. Next, what you're going to do is add the eggs to the butter and sugar. Now that you have the eggs all incorporated with the butter and sugar, we are now going to add the flour mixture. As we're adding the flour mixture, we're also going to add the bananas. So just leave this on low and pour in a little bit of flour. Make sure you get all around the sides. And we're going to add a little bit of banana. Make sure that all the dry ingredients are all incorporated in. I'm going to get my, my scraper here and get the sides. And now I'm going to incorporate the chopped up figs and the walnuts. Just stir them in the batter. I'll take the pan and pour the batter in. Banana bread makes for a nice dessert or add to your breakfast or any time actually and just take your spatula and make sure it's all spread evenly in the pan and there you go it's ready to go in the oven now we're going to place it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees and you want to place it in the middle rack. You're going to bake it for about 40 minutes and you're going to check it with a little toothpick. And you just put it in the center of the bread and see if the toothpick comes out clean. If it's still wet, you want to have it bake for a few more minutes, just a few more, and test it again. And it should be wonderful. Mmm, it smells so good in my kitchen with this banana bread baking. So the buds are just rang and we're going to get it out of the oven. And look at this. It looks wonderful. This is how you want your bread to look. It's got that nice crack on the top and it's nice and brown. And I'm sitting it on a wire rack and I'm going to take a wooden toothpick and just poke it in here and if it comes out clean like this 
and that means it's done. So we'll let this cool for a little bit before we pop it out of the pan. And that's it. Super easy. And it's going to be delicious. Now that the banana bread has had a chance to cool off, we're now going to cut into it. And I am going to taste this wonderful banana bread. Look how beautiful it looks. It smells wonderful, the banana smell and the nuts and the figs in this. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? And it's nice and moist. And now I get to taste it. The figs add a nice flavor and texture to this banana bread. It is awesome. I'm going to have to do this again. I hope you like this video and I hope you try this recipe. It's yummy. And also, let me know how it turns out for you. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified for next week's video. Until then, bye. Mmm. Hubby, this is so good. Yum, yum.